Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. And I want to show you how to do a, I hope I'm on here, can y'all see me? There y'all are, okay, I was like, where is everybody? Okay, so, um, so I'm gonna do part one, and this is called Beautiful Savior, I'm Yours Forever. Oh, dang it, it is backwards, okay. Well, this part of it won't be that step, so I'm just gonna kinda show y'all. Hey guys, go ahead and say hi when you get on. And then I'm gonna show y'all the start, you know, with the, the new year coming, the new decade coming, um, I want to share with y'all, okay, so about this time of year, I start to really reflect. I reflect on several things, okay? So I start thinking of my new word of the year. Um, so how many of y'all have already chosen a new word of the year, okay? And I'm gonna talk to y'all while I start this process. So I'm gonna put this down. Um, so my word of the year last year was obedience. And I've been thinking of a new word of the year this year, and I kinda almost want to keep that for part of it. And for those of y'all that are just joining, um, this says beautiful savior. <laughs> it is backwards, I know. But the whole theme of this part one is beautiful savior, I'm yours forever. So I'm taking black paint and I'm just getting black paint on here kind of in a fast way so that I can start to mix it. So the reason I'm doing black is because I want to do a bunch of really bright, pretty colors. Hey guys, thanks for coming on. Tell me where you're at when you're here. Um, I want to do some of these really light colors as the, um, for the beautiful savior, I'm yours forever. I want to, can y'all see me? <laughs> if I get right here, you can see me. Um, I want to do these as the, I'm your beautiful savior, I'm yours forever. And I also want to do really bright colors. So I'm actually using this lighter to do my words in. So today you're gonna see kind of my crazy process of just getting some paint on the canvas and how much fun it can be. So how many of y'all did the Paint Big Challenge back in November? Um, a lot of people are kind of terrified of painting big. Let me know in the comments if you're one of those people. Um, so when you start to paint big, it can be scary but once you try it, it's, it's pretty addicting um, because you start to realize that you're just taking things that you would normally paint, you know, in a smaller setting and make them bigger, obviously. But that once you complete something that's giant, it makes you like excited about what else could I do? You know, like what else could I put on there? Um, hey guys, hey Robin from Florida. Um, Krista just painted big. We have Jennifer from Washington State. Welcome. Thank y'all so much for being here. So I'm just kind of showing you the first stage of my beautiful savior, I'm yours forever. And this came from one of the songs we were singing in church. Have you ever had those moments where you're in church and you're singing and you just like totally feel the Holy Spirit? Like, like there's like a tear coming down your eye. I mean, it's just, you know, and I, I love those moments because it's like you can feel God's presence. And I like crave those moments. It's like, you know, in today's world when there's so much craziness and we don't stop for five seconds to even look a friend in the eye while we're talking. We're looking at our phones, checking this. Yeah, nodding, listening. When I have those moments where you know, I'm singing and I'm, I'm an awful singer, totally awful singer. But when I have those moments where I'm singing and, you know, you can just feel God's presence at that moment. And I just, I don't know about y'all, but I crave those moments. Is anybody else like that where you just like, like you just crave those moments. You just want more of those moments, you know, because you know he's there. You know he's taking care of you. You know, no matter what is happening, it's okay. It's going to be okay. And maybe it's not okay right then, but that moment, it's okay. And you feel like he has you. Um, so when we were singing, this was a few weeks ago, and I wrote it down. Um, I have a really great journal I use that anytime I am trying to write stuff that, um, you know, through church or, you know, just things that I'm reflecting on. And um, I wrote it out as I wanted to paint it. And it said, um, 
<laughs> Carol says, I can't sing either, but always doing church. I know the guy in front of me last week literally was doing this. And I looked over at Pixie and I said, Pixie, you think he's covering his ears because of me? <laughs> She said, yes, definitely. Definitely, Mom. He's covering his ears because of you. Um, let's see. What is, um, Laura says, yes, yes, exactly. And man, when you hear it, it touches you. Yes. Carol says, yes, a joyful noise. Hey, Marlis. Yeah, it's so true. Just that feeling. And so so I've really tried, um, you know, I've talked to you all before about not being very consistent with going to church and um, and how I'm really trying to be more obedient and more consistent because I know churches, you know, can give lots of people a bad, you know, a bad taste in their mouth and all of those things. But but I, I feel like you have to remember, you know, put your hope in God, not in people. People will fail you every single time, every time. But God won't. You know, His promises are forever. So and um, so I just wanted to share that. And it, and this beautiful savior I'm yours forever is something I want to hang up in my house so feel free to um, look at this and maybe get inspired from it and make your own version of it okay and um, okay so we have a lot of people on thank y'all for being here and this is just part one yeah I love those moments I know I, I just crave those moments like Oh, you know, and, and I know you can have them anywhere. You can have them when you're in nature. You don't have to be in a church to have those moments where God just totally overwhelms you with his presence. Um, we, well, this is a, another kind of, kind of church story, but um, I'm going to blend a little bit of metallic blue while I'm talking about this. Um, but I think, I don't know if y'all saw this live, but um, we went to... Hot Springs, and we went to that glass church. This is some metallic blue. And um, we went to that glass church in Hot Springs, and oh my gosh, like I walked in, and it was just so beautiful. I mean, there's just glass everywhere, and you could just see nature and trees and all of those beautiful things that God creates. And I was just in awe. Like, it was crazy because you could tell there was like a a bachelorette party going on so there were some girls up there and they were you know <laughs> Elizabeth says this is church <laughs> we're all gonna sing let's all sing Yay. no let's I should not sing for y'all um <laughs> anyway so there was this um kind of like this bachelorette party going on and um and they were all kind of like at the front and they were oh good I'm glad you found it darling they were all at the front, and they were kind of just laughing and having fun like you're supposed to do at a bachelorette party, right? And they were all there just, you know, girls having fun. And I walked in, and it was like I sat at the back of the pew, um, at the very back, and I was just looking around. And I thought, oh, my gosh. I mean, like, and it just hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, I just started, I couldn't even help it. Like, tears were coming down. And and I feel like, you know, those type of moments, like we can have those moments with God, you know, like we, we just have to be willing to watch for him and listen and be ready, you know, because I don't know about y'all, but when I have those moments, it's almost like this giant therapy session that just happened. Does anybody else feel like that? And you're just like, it's okay. Like I can get through this next week. Like it's going to be okay. And so, um, so it was really, really cool to see that. And then once they, my husband looked over at me and I was just like, I mean, I wasn't like, hoo, 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 but like just tears were just, I couldn't even stop them. Tears were just like streaming down. And I'm like, I, I'm not trying to cry. You know, like sometimes like it's embarrassing. You don't want to cry, but other times you can't even help it. When you feel the presence of God like that, like you can't even help it. And there's just something about, you know, this time where we, we have these feelings and we, and again, we get overwhelmed and we get in the midst of just all of this. And I know right now, especially we are in the hustle and not enough time in the day to do all the things we need to do, but we need to remember, you know, what it's all about. And I just wanted to, to quickly share, you know, I'm really excited about working on this one. I'm really excited about hanging this one in my house. And um, so eventually it's going to say, beautiful savior, I'm yours forever. 
And the reason I chose to do the black background this time is because I'm gonna come back in with tons and tons of detail and I'm gonna have beautiful Savior, I'm yours forever. And then it's going to be a lot of these light colors. So some of my favorite colors, of course, I'm gonna have a lot of these lighter colors. This is a Bahama Blue, if you can see that. Bahama Blue Deco Art. I know it's a little, a little um, hard to see. But um, I'm gonna have Bahama Blue. So the next time you see, see me do this one live, and I'll make sure to do it live so you can watch the whole process. I'll start adding the stencils on top, and then I'll start adding all of the words. Um, all of the different designs. I have some really cool designs in my brain that I hope to get out on this one. But I just wanted to take a minute to, to just encourage you that whatever's going on in your life, um, try painting. I mean, art heals. And also look for those moments over the next few weeks of when you can really um, hear and not only hear God, but feel God. So, you know, when you can feel His Holy Spirit. And I just want to um, just say it's so so important to to take time to reflect um, over this next few weeks and just kind of see like what do I want out of this next year what do I want out of this next decade and if you start to get to that point and you're like I don't even know just grab a big canvas grab a big box everybody has like a box somewhere grab something and um, in Lowe's they have that big butcher paper I have painted on butcher paper more times than I can even count because of doing different things with um, schools and stuff like that. Grab a big piece of butcher paper and just go crazy and do a huge prayer um, like that. You know, anything that's going to be inspiring that you can hang up and remind yourself um, what it's all about. So this is just part one. There will be more, but I wanted to jump on and just share that with you and say, I hope y'all have a wonderful week. And thank you so, so much for being here. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.